In this episode, we're going to be picking open this absolutely beautiful Union Model 3102 solid brass body 50mm padlock. Hey folks, welcome to Pugs Picks Locks. If you're new here, feel free to click that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so that you'll always be notified when I release new content like this. And if you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, click that like button, and then leave a question or a comment down below if you have one. I'm more than happy to engage with you in the comments section, either to answer any questions you may have or to receive any feedback you might have. I don't always get everything right. So did I get something wrong? Is there something I could do differently? Something I could do better? Please let me know. I so very much want to learn from all of you so that I can continue to grow my knowledge base and my skill set and provide you with better and better content. Okay, let's dive into this video. There are two things that I absolutely love about Locksport. One is the incredibly kind, generous, and supportive community that has built up around Locksport. And the other is that sometimes you run into these absolute gems, and this lock right here is one of them. This lock was sent to me by one of those members of the Locksport community, Lady Locks, who's an incredibly generous soul. And I saw that she had made a video about this lock, and I absolutely fell in love with the lock just from her video. So she sent it to me. This is her lock. I do have to send it back, but I will be looking for my own union padlock at some point. As for this lock and why it's such an absolute gem, it's not that this lock, this union model 3102 um, brass padlock, is a difficult lock or a challenging lock. It's actually pretty straightforward from a uh, picking point of view. It has five pins and Here's the key, so you can see the bidding. It has five pins. Um, it's not the most challenging pick in the world. Uh, the pins are all standard. They are standard pins, although it does feel like a couple of the pins might be tapers. I'm pretty sure they're not. I'm pretty sure they're standard, but they feel like tapers because I, I have to touch them a couple of times to get the open. The only... Uh, challenging aspect about this lock is uh, that it's um it has an incredibly strong core spring so there have been times when i've uh in opening this lock where i've actually had the open and not known it because i wasn't cranking hard enough on the tension wrench i wasn't applying enough tension to the plug to actually turn it against the strength of the core spring so from a picking point of view it's not that special um, what makes this an absolute gem, and the reason why I absolutely fell in love with this, is it has the most satisfying and musical open. When the shackle pops, it is the most satisfying and musical thing. Have a listen. It has, it, it, it rings, it has this ping, this bright ping, this ring, that and a ring that sustains like a bell. Do you hear that? It's, let's do that again. I love that so much. I mean, it's just gorgeous. Now, I'm pretty sure it's because of the solid brass construction that it rings like that. But as an amateur musician, as, as a hobbyist, um, anything that tickles my uh, sonic funny bone is just, it's just wonderful. This lock is such a gift. I absolutely love it. And thank you, Lady Locks, for letting me play with this. Um, I'm going to be on the lookout for one of my own. I love this lock so much. Um, I do have to send it back to her. She was generous enough to let me play with it and make a video with it. Okay. So in terms of tools, we're going to be going with my standard approach, which is the bicycle spoke Z-Wrench. and the Southord, Southord Pagoda Hook. And as I've mentioned many times on this channel, both of these are my favorite tools and they are my go-tos for when I'm attacking a new lock. 
So, um, like I said, nothing extraordinarily special about it, other um, or difficult, I should say. Nothing extraordinarily difficult about it from a picking point of view, except for the strength of the chorus spring. It's also interesting to note that the pins are actually fairly widely spaced. So there's a huge, there's a pretty large gap in between each pin. That's the only other thing that takes a little getting used to. Okay. I like to start at the back of the lock. So I'm going to start at the back of the lock. Here's pin five. Got a little, got a little click out of it. Um, pin four, not much. Just touching pin five again to see if there's more movement that I didn't get. Four, three, two, one. Um, let's go back through the stack. Five. Uh, um, another click out of five. Four, nothing. Three, nothing really. Two. Big satisfying click and a little bit of core movement out of two. And nothing out of one. Okay, back to five. Another little click out of five. Four, three, another click out of three. Nothing out of two. Nothing out of one. Let's go back to five. Let's go to four. Three, two, and open. Oh, that ping is so beautiful. Um, I actually think it was open. I think that it was open when I got the second click out of five. Um, and I didn't realize it because um, I wasn't cranking hard enough. Um, but yeah, uh, there you have it. Here's this absolutely gorgeous uh, solid brass body Union padlock. Picked open with a bicycle spoke Z-wrench and a uh, South Ord Pagoda hook. Hey folks, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, remember to drop a like and leave a comment or a question below. If you're new here, subscribe and ring the notification bell for more content like this. Until the next video, happy picking y'all.